Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, today's video we are working again with pistol squat. Gearing up towards the video I have planned for this Saturday. Um, if you are listening with me, um, I am going to be on the playlist Giant. Of course, I'll link that in the description. Um, and if you are with me, we will start that in three, two, one. Cool. So from there, we're just gonna find a more of an active warm up. So bring the hands behind you, knees bent, feet to the floor. Feet about hip width or mat width distance. Take a few moments, just when you walk the legs. So move the knees back and forth, just getting some movement going in the hip region and the lower back. And then bring it to collar pose, soles if you come together, knees go wide. Um, from here, I want you to grab the ankles for a moment. Use the grip first to lift the chest up to the sky. And then use that grip to start to hinge forward, and then take the hands forward, walk them forward. From here, we're just going to do some pulsing, so pulsing the chest forward back, getting a little bit of again, more of a more dynamic stretch today to start. Good. Bring it back up. Hands come outside knees, bring the knees together. And then from here, can you tend the fingertips behind you? And press down and just try to lift the hips away from the floor. Good. We'll do two more like that. So allow the hips to find the floor, elbows bent. And maybe move the hands closer to the hips, tend the fingertips, lift the hips. Good. Once more, lower down, maybe walk them, maybe fingertips in line with the hips. And charge to the heels, the fingers, lift the hips. Good. Hips come down, hands can move back if you'd like to. Straighten out the right leg on the floor and cross the left ankle over the right leg and then bend that knee once more. So figure four shape and starting to walk the hands closer to the shin, trying to get the chest to that front shin. As I do this, I'm lifting the chest up to the sky and trying to move the left hip down to the floor. Good. From here, start to walk the right foot a little bit further forward. Walk it towards the right slightly, and it's a windshield wiper. So I'm going to drop my knee over towards the right side, try to get the inside of the left side, rather, uh, inside of the knee towards the floor. And then when I go over to the right side, it's the bottom of the left foot to the floor. So very much like the windshield wiper we did to start, but a little bit different legs, getting a little bit different <laughs> into the hips. Yeah, and then just bring it back center. Your left hand is going to reach outside, grab the pinky toe side edge of the foot. You'll bring that knee in towards the armpit as this right leg kind of finds this almost cobbler pose shape. From here, I'm going to press away the right knee with my right hand and try to pull the left knee towards the wall behind me. And you might even pulse this leg or maybe do some circles with that ankle. Yeah, straighten the left leg out, straighten the right leg out as well. Arms go up to the sky, inhale breath. And then hands to the floor, start to fold, go a little bit deep, so not your deepest level, and just start to pulse. Good, hands next to hips, knees bend, hips lift, try to lift the hips, maybe walk the hands in closer, maybe for a moment the hands reach forward, and then back. And try that a few times, just trying to keep the hips off the floor, reaching arms forward and back. Good, once you're there, the hips find the floor, We'll straighten the left leg out and cross the right leg over the left, so ankle over knee, re-bend that knee. Good, and then from there we walk the hips closer to the left heel and walking the chest closer to that front shin. Again, lift the heart high, move the right butt cheek down. Good, walk the hands back a little bit, slide back a little bit if you need to. Windshield wipe for this leg, so as the knee goes towards the right, you try to get the inside left knee to the floor. When it goes left, you try to touch the right foot. And going through those movements in your own time, in your own way. Move. Yeah, and then a half happy baby, you'll bring it back. Right hand's gonna grab the pinky toe side edge, I'll pull it back, and then bring this left shin towards the floor. Good, from here my left hand finds left knee, press it away, and then use the right arm to pull, maybe pulse, maybe circle. Good. Bring both feet to the floor. Hands come outside knees, knees together. Hands behind you, can you lift the hips, then walk all the way forward, forward fold. Hands down, straighten legs, or any way that you need to get there. From there, make feet about hip width distance. Bend the elbows, grab, bend the knees, grab the elbows, ragdoll, hang out. So sway side to side, forward back. And feel the way you shift to the fronts of the feet. Heels could leave the floor, but they never do. Yeah, 
dead. Release the hands down. A deeper bending knee, start to roll up the spine piece by piece. Head and neck last, and then it's gonna come up. Once you arrive, some shoulder shrugs backwards. And some forwards. And take the arms to the sky, your inhale breath, palms can meet overhead. And forward fold, bend the knees, take the hands all the way down to the floor. And then inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat the spine. High plank, plant the hands, step both feet back. And then just lower all the way down to the belly. Once down, you tuck the fingertips off the mat, so elbows high, fingers, tips tented. Awesome, cobra times five. So on the inhale breath, we lift the chest, grow long. Your height with this, on the exhale breath, bring it down. Good, four more of those. Inhale, breath, we rise. Exhale to lower. Good, inhale for three. And exhale. And two more, inhale. And exhale. Yeah, last one, inhale, breath, you rise, you stay at the top, do not hold your breath, just stay here, start to move the shoulders down away from the ears, try to bring the chest a little further forward. Good, and after you keep the chest lifted, just lower the lower part of the rib cage. And slide the hands next to rib cage, child's pose. And big toes touch, knees widen, sit all the way back towards the heels. Good, and then from here on the inhale breath, can you shift forward tabletop, try to drop the hips towards the floor, so almost like and up dog would be. And then child's pose, just shift it back, shift it back. You got a tumor like that, shift forward, drop the hips, kick the butt if you'd like to, my feet do it, you can. And then child's pose, just shift it back. Good, last one, into that upward dog. Into the child's pose. Yeah, shift forward, hands and knees, and then this time, downward facing dog, touch the toes, lift the hips. And take some time, shake it out, walk it out. Then the legs. Ooh. Yeah, look from here on the inhale breath, rise high to the toes, look between your hands. Exhale, bend the knees, step or walk forward, forward fold. Feet meet together, top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flatten the spine. Good, exhale, hold. Inhale, rise, flat back, take the arms up to the sky. Forward fold, bend the knees, take it all the way down. Good, inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flatten back. Maybe now, plant the hands, step or hop, it's the high to low plank, your exhale breath. Your own inhale takes you upward facing dog, chest goes high, toes flat. Your own exhale, downward facing dog, tuck the toes, lift the hips. Once more, shake it out, walk it out. Good, round one. And from the down bow. And so to bring the feet to touch at the back of the mat, hip with distance will do us better later, but for this one, we'll start hip, uh, feet together. And once we do together, walk the hands back to the feet, it's forward fold, just stand at the back of the mat. <clears throat> and from forward fold, inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, squat and spine. Exhale the bowl. And chair pulse. Bend the knees to the hips. When we travel into the heels, you'll take the gaze forward, not the floor. Good. So from here, start to reach the arms forward. It's chair squat. Bend the knees as low as you can, but try to keep the hips on the floor, heels on the floor, that is. Hips can hover maybe just off. Good. Strong lines, it's chair pose. Bring the legs back up. Bring the hips back up. And two more. Chair squat. Bend the knees. Sit lower. Good, chair pose, bring it up. Last one, chair squat, stay there, or add the challenge, take the hands next to the hips, maybe behind the hips, you kind of sit in that kind of hovered shape that we did earlier. Yeah, to chair pose, to rise, so arms go forward, rise all the way up to stand, right leg will lift. Stork pose, so thigh parallel, flex the ankle under the knee. And to stay here, or the challenge, straighten that leg, hold it five. Good, so hold it four. And three, and two, crescent lunge, step forward. To your right foot will step forward, back toe stay tucked, and about hip width distance will be easier to balance here. And continue with the active warm up on the inhale breath, reach high. Airplane wings, bow halfway forward. Good, stork pose, big jump, take the left leg up to the sky as high as you can go. And then a shrimp squat, your left knee's gonna tuck behind the right, 
Lean forward, take the knee as low to the floor as you can. Eventually tap the floor of the ankle. When you're ready, start pose, bring it back. Good. Two more from here. So, uh, shrimp squat. Lean forward, try to kick the butt with that left foot. When you're ready, start pose. Good. Last one, go low, stay low, hold the bottom for five, four, and three. And two, drop hands, step back, three leg down dog, right leg high. Good, from here, right knee, right shoulder, shift forward. And then can you flex the foot, hover it outside the left leg. So we'll call this a grass, or don't hover it, land it. Um, so we'll call this a grasshopper step hop. And what you're gonna do is just switch the leg. So I keep a high plank, as I switch, I jump that left foot outside the right hand. Good, we'll do that a couple more times. So we switch the right kick forward, left kick forward. Right forward, left forward. Four more sounds great. So one, two, three, four. The three leg down dog, left leg high, as high as you can. And then runners lunge, left foot steps between the hands. Good, tend the fingertips, look forward, lift the chest. And then hips back, start to straighten that leg a little or a lot. And the right hip push forward, left hip back. Good. Bend the front knee, shift forward, look forward. And shift back two more. Good. Bend the knee, shift forward. Last one, go back. And forward fold, step forward, top of the mat. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flatten spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, flat back, take the arms all the way up to the sky. Forward fold, bend the knees, hands all the way down to the floor. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shin, slap. Vinyasa. Plant the hands, step right hop. Had a low plank or any other route to get there. I'll meet you down dog. And from the down dog, we will find that same thing in the second side. From the down dog, we're going to get to touch back of the mat. And then you walk the hands back to the feet, forward fold, stand at the back. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shin, slap the spine. Exhale, fold. And chair pose. Bend the knees, sit the hips, sway to heels, gaze goes forward. Good. It's a chair squat. Reach the arms forward, sit as low as you can. And chair pose, charge the heels, bring it up. Good, two more, chair squat, hips go low, arms go forward. Into chair pulls, charge the heels, bring it up. Good, last one, chair squat, reach forward to stay. When hands come next to the hips, you'll tend the fingertips, hop in the hips, maybe bounce. Good, we gotta rise all the way up. So reach the arms forward, charge the heels, left leg to sky stork pose. And stay stork pose or the challenge, straighten that left leg, hold it by. And squeeze the hamstring four and for three and two crescent lunge step forward and maybe small step back with that right foot yeah then inhale breath reach higher to the sky airplane wings just bow one time good per our stork pose stork pose big jump right leg up to the sky and then a shrimp squat my right knee tucks behind the left i lean forward go as low as you can so maybe it's halfway to the shin Half ankle, the hips all the way down. Stork pose when you're ready. Good. Two more. Knee towards the ankle as low as you can. When you're ready, stork pose. Good. Last one. We go low. You stay low. Hold the bottom. Five, four, three, two. Drop hands. Step back. Three leg down dog. Take the left leg up to the sky behind you. There's that grasshopper kick. So my left knee is going to go towards the left elbow. I kick that right foot towards, kick the foot towards the right foot. Talking, this is the first time I've taught this. Words. Cool, so now we're in this kind of half pigeon shape. We're gonna switch this a good amount of times. So keeping the high plank arms, we switch to the right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Good. Three leg down dog, right leg goes up to the sky, inhale breath. And then runners lunge, step it through. Good, turn the fingertips, look forward, lift the chest, hips back, straighten that leg. Good, bend the front knee, shift forward, look forward. 
Good, shift it back, two more. Good, bend the knee, shift forward. And shift it back, straighten leg. And forward fold, step forward, top of the mat, heels, toes, touch, or gap between. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat and spine. Good, exhale, fold. Inhale, rise, flat back, arms all the way up. Into forward fold, bend the knees, take it down. Good, inhale, halfway lift to grow long. And then yeah, so plant the hands, step or hop, your choice, your route. I'll meet you down dog. Round two. And the same thing, a little different. To start, this time we'll take hip width distance, so almost two fists can fit between the feet. And then walk the hands back to the feet, it's forward fold, fold. Good, inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flatten spine. Exhale, fold. And chair bumps, bend the knees to the hips, take the arms up to the sky. Good, from here it's different. We'll find a chair squat, arms go forward, sit as low as you can. And then I want you to take the right hand behind you, lean back, and then kick that right leg forward, try to touch the toes to your left fingertips. Good, chair squat, right foot lands, my right arm goes forward. And second side, left hand plants, I kick the left leg, try to touch the toes. Good, foot lands, bring it up. And charge to the heels, it's right leg, stork pose, bring it up. Good, to stay or straighten the leg, hold it five. And keep it four. And three. And two, crescent lunge, step forward, adjust the stance. Good, on the inhale breath, reach higher to the sky. Airplane wings to bow one time. Good, stork pose, big jump, left leg all the way up. And two short squats. Left knee tucks behind, you go as low to the floor as you can. When you're ready, stork pose, bring it up. Good, one more, just go low, stay low, hold the bottom five, four, three, two, plant hands, step back, right leg high, three leg down dog. Good, grasshopper kick, it's your right knee, right elbow, foot towards the left. Good, we'll sit this three times, so you kick left, to the right, to the left. Good, from here it's half pigeon, left foot might come a little bit closer. Sit elevated on the pigeon, so not your deepest one, and start by tension fingertips. Now if you do have a bad knee, this is where you'll stay on the fingertips. If you can, maybe you use no hands. Airplane wings, chest reaches forward, inhale breath wherever you are. And then exhale, can you lower the torso just off the floor? So again, maybe you're tending fingertips and stay low. Good, strong inhale, strong legs, bring it up. And two more, lower the torso. Good, bring it up. Last one, lower torso. Good, bring it up, still trying to stay without hands. I'm gonna shift onto my left hip, and then swing this right leg forward, and plant the right foot about in front of my left ankle. Now the idea here is to stand without using the hands. Of course, use the hands next to hips if you need to. Otherwise, arms go forward. I'm gonna shift forward, get on towards my left shin, and then drive through my right foot for warrior three. And arms can go back forward anywhere you'd like. You're here for five. Good, hold it four. And for three. And two, stork pose, lift the left leg. Good, to funky chair, flex the ankle over the knee. Bend the bottom knee, sit low. Good, feel the hips move back a little bit further here. And chest moves forward, find more length in your spine. Good, stork pose, bring the left leg up to the sky. Straighten the left leg, squeeze the hamstring. Then from here, I want you to take the hands near the hips. You're gonna bend the right knee. Start to bring the chest towards the right leg. Hands can find the floor. It's a pistol squat. So you sit all the way low. Hands for support, we bounce up and down. Good, from there, have a seat. Your right leg is gonna go underneath that left, and then a pigeon pose. So half pigeon, you'll shift to the right, swing this left leg all the way around, tuck the toes, and then try to use those toes to readjust the hips. Good, once you're good to go, we plant the hands, it's three leg down dog, take the right leg up to the sky. Bend the knee, open hips, stay, or the wild thing. You'll land the foot on the left side of the mat, Lift the hips as high to the sky as they go. Good, to three leg down dog, plant the hand, lift the right leg up to the sky. 
Your runners lunge, step between the hands. Good, 10 fingers, look forward, lift the chest. Hips back, straighten the legs a little or a lot. It does not have to be all the way straight. Runners lunge, bend the knee over the ankle. Plant left hand, take the right arm up to the sky. Now, if you should be about hip with distance on the floor, start to squeeze the feet towards each other. It's vertical twist, belly strong, and just bring the torso over the hips. Good, maybe gaze towards the right hand. To stay or exalt the warrior, my left arm goes to the sky. We're here for five. Good, hold it four. For three. For two, vertical twists, bring the arms back. Now my left arm's gonna cross towards the pinky toe side edge of that right knee. Right hand comes to join, it's prayer twist. So I'm gonna press my palms together, and then squeeze the palms so they try to take the thumbs towards the center line of the chest. Good, now from here keep a twist, just look down to the right big toe. For chair twist, either step or walk that left foot forward to meet the right. So heels, toes touch, top of the mat. Feel the left hip move back, left knee moves back, both the knees in one line. Good, strong legs, it's chair pose. Take the arms up to the sky, inhale breath. And then perch pose, airplane wings just bow halfway. Good, inhale rise, full body stretch, reach to the sky to stay. Or any back bend, I like to separate my feet, bend the elbows, cactus his arm back bend for five. Good, squeeze the glutes for four, and for three, and two, inhale, rise, arms to the sky. And then forward fold, walk the feet together, fold all the way down to the floor. Good, inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flatten the spine, curl pose, or vinyasa. So again, I plant the hands, and take the knees to triceps, Squeeze the knees together so much, you should forward, start to lift one foot, maybe two. If you've got it, we try to hold it for five. Good, hold it four, for three, and two, and step or hop, vinyasa. We'll meet down dog. And we'll find that same thing, second slide. And then repeat. So this time to start again, the feet are gonna be about hip width distance. So almost two fists can fit between the feet. Once you've got that good to go, it's forward fold, we'll walk the hands back to the feet. Good. From there, inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat and spine. Good, exhale, fold. And chair pose, bend the knees, sit the hips, and gaze forward, not the floor. Good, chair squat, arms go forward, sit as low as you can. We'll go left side this time. So my left hand is gonna plant behind the hip. I'm gonna shift towards that hand and then straighten left leg, try to touch the toes. Good, from here, this time, can you bring that right knee in towards the chest? Maybe try to get both hands on or near that foot. Yeah, left hand plants behind you. Left foot plants to the floor. Chair squat, arms go forward. Good, second slide, right hand plants behind you. I kick the right leg forward. To stay, or maybe bring the left knee in towards the chest, try mobile hands. Now as I do this, I'm really pressing my thigh in towards my chest, chest to thigh, to maintain stability, stability in this pose. Good, right hand plants behind you. Right foot plants, hands go forward, charge through heels, left leg, stork pose. Good, to stay or straighten the stork five. And four, and three, and two, crescent lunge, big step forward. Get yeah, just a stance. On the inhale breath, reach higher to the sky. Airplane wings to bow one time. Good, stork pose, big jump, take the right leg up. And then a short squat, right knee as close to the left ankle as you can. Again, your depth here doesn't have to be very low. When you're ready, stork pose, bring it up. Good. Last one, go low, stay low, hold the bottom for five, four, three, and two, drop hands, step it back. Into three leg down dog, left leg up to the sky. And grasshopper kick, it's left knee towards the left elbow, foot towards the right. Good, we'll switch this out, so kick it right, kick it left, and kick it right. Two more, left, right. Cool, half it. Your right hip will find the floor. Right foot might move back a little bit if you need to. Again, a more active pigeon, so squeezing the legs together. 
Let's start by touching your fingertips. If you do have bad hips, bad knees, fingertips is where you'll stay. You might just stay here in general. If you're at the challenge, the legs are strong, I invite airplane wings. On the inhale breath, I stay here. And so breath, I lower the torso, maybe use fingers, maybe not. Good, bring it up. And two more, bring it down. Good, bring it up. Last one, bring it down. Good, you'll bring it up for that. Uh, you'll shift to the right side. Swing those left leg forward, cross your left ankle over the right ankle. So put it to the floor. And again, the idea here is standing without warrior three, without, without the hands warrior three. Talking today is hard. Cool, the arms go forward. I shift forward, get onto my right shin, and then use the right foot and my left foot to find a warrior three. Good, once I'm here, I'm here for five. Good, hold it for four. And for three. And two, stork pose, right leg comes all the way up. Good, to four, funky chair, cross the ankle over the knee, and then the knee towards the thigh. Now right away, I want you to try to bring the chest towards the left thigh. We're gonna do this again in that pistol squat. So trying to work the compression of that thigh in towards the chest. Good, to stork pose, right leg up. Straighten the right leg out when you're ready. Good, take your hands behind the hips. And go slow, it's a pistol squat. So I'm gonna bend my left knee, bring the torso in towards that thigh, hands to floor to help me bring it down. From there, I pulse a little bit. Good, have a seat. My left ankle's gonna go underneath my right leg. Half pigeon, right leg's gonna fly all the way back. Once I tuck the toes, I use the toes to readjust. Good, plant hands, three leg down dog, lift left leg up to sky. Bend the knee, open hips, stay, or that wild thing. You land the foot right side, and lift hips as high as they go. Good, three leg down dog, left leg up to the sky, inhale breath. Runner's lunge, step it through. Good, to the fingertips, look forward, lift the chest. Hips back, straight leg, back foot can step in or not, really your choice. The right hip pushes forward, left hip back. Good, bend the front knee, runner's lunge, so back knee will heel will lift if it was down. We add the twist, right hand stays, left arm high. And then again, check my feet, hip width distance, squeeze the feet together, add strength in the legs. And then strong legs, it's vertical twist. So I bring the torso over the hips, maybe gaze left hand to stay or exalt the warrior, left hand at five, right arm high, hold it five. Good, hold it four. And can you move your left butt cheek down for three? And two, vertical twist, bring the arms back. And then my right arm's gonna hook on the outside of that right thigh, left thigh, left thigh. And left hand comes to meet it for a twist. And squeeze the bumps together, and eventually palms, or center, thumb, center of the chest. Talking today is very difficult. Good. Look to left big toe. It's a chair twist. Either step or walk that right foot forward to meet the left. So heels still touch. Feel the weight in the heels. Move the right hip back. Good. Chair pose. Keep the legs. Just lift the arms up to the sky. And then perch pose. Airplane wings. Just bow. Good. Inhale. Rise. Full body stretch. Reach to the sky. Stay or back bend. Again, I like to make my feet hip width distance. Heels in a little bit, bend the elbows, cap his arm back, in for five. Good, wherever you are, can you squeeze the glutes for four? And try to lift the glutes for three. And two, inhale, rise, arms high. And feet walk together as you fold the hands all the way down to the floor. Good, inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flatten the spine. Crow pose, or vinyasa. And again, plant the hands, knees to triceps. And take the arm balance, or skip it. We're here for five. Good, hold it four. And for three. And two, step or hop. Then yasa. Final breath. Round three. Last time. And from the down bow. 
Two feet about human distance to each other. We walk the hands back to the feet. Right goal. Just kidding, just forward pull. Good. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shin, slap the spine. Exhale, hold. Good. Chair pose, bend the knees, arms up to the sky. Good. Same thing as before, just adding on. So the chair squat, arms go forward, hips move back. My right hand placing behind you. I kick the right foot towards the left fingers. Stay here or bring the left knee in towards the chest, maybe both hands, maybe it's a pulse. Good, right hand plants, right foot lands, right arm lifts. Good, second side, left hand plants. Left leg kicks forward and touch the toes, maybe knee towards the chest, pulse. And we can also pulse without the hands or with the hand on the floor, so please do that. Good, left hand plants, left foot plants, arms forward, listen close. My right hand's gonna plant. My right leg goes forward. Touch the toes. Use the hand for this one. I want you to pulse and gain strength and gain courage. Pray to something. It is stork pose. So my right leg's gonna be as strong as I can. I charge through that left leg to bring it up. Good. Once it's there, stay straight and hold it five, four, and three, and two. Crescent lunge, step it forward. Good. Toes tuck and lift the arms high. Lean, held breath, high to the sky. Airplane wings, just bow one time. Good, start pose, big jump, left leg all the way up. To one shrimp squat. So left knee as close to the right ankle as you can. Go low, hold it five, four, three, two, drop hands, step back. Three leg down dog, right leg high. Good, uh, grasshopper kick. So right knee towards the right elbow, foot towards the left wrist, pause. Now we're gonna switch this a lot of times. So we'll kick left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Yeah, half good. Cool. So you should be ending on the left leg forward. Uh, right foot comes a little bit closer. Again, we will start with the tented fingertips or just a reach for the airplane wings. One time, we inhale breath, we stay here. Exhale, lower the chest, half off the floor, hold there for five. Four, three, and two, bring it up. Maybe if you've got the airplane wings, arms goes to sky, back bend. Five, and four, and three, and two, hands heart center or off to the sides. Shift onto left leg, swing the right leg forward, cross the ankle in front of the shin. Getting any warrior three without using the hands. Hands can go forward or use the hands next to the floor, hips on the floor. We reach the arms forward, get onto the shin, into that warrior three. Yeah, we're here for five. Hold it four. For three. And two, stork pose, left leg comes up. Good, to funky chair, flex the ankle over the knee, and bend the bottom knee to the wall. Good, hips will move back, chest moves forward. If you've got flying pigeon, now is your time. If you're new to flying pigeon, we'll take the hands down to the floor, and start to plant the hands about shoulder distance apart. Bend the elbows to start, press the shin on towards the elbows, and then I want you to shift the whole body forward until you feel the fingertips press. From there, maybe you can start to kick the butt with that right foot. And if you'd like to send the leg back by all means, but I'm not going to, we're here for five. Good, four, three, two, land the right foot in. It's stork pose, take the left leg all the way up to the sky. Good, now this is gonna get tricky, it is a pistol squat. We will straighten the left leg. Option one, hands come next to the hips. Option two, hands go forward. As I bend the knee, or bottom knee, I try to bring my knee towards the right chest. Or right knee towards chest, I hope you had it, cool. One, two, there, have a seat. Good, right leg goes underneath the left. It's half pigeon, left leg goes all the way back, top the toes, use that to readjust the hips. Good, from there, plant the hands, it's three leg down dog, right leg high. Bend the knee, open the hips, stay or the wild thing. Land the foot to the left, lift the hips to the sky. If you've got the full wheel, by all means, plant the feet. Lift higher, maybe fingertips find the floor. If the hand lands, then we flip that left hand over. Good, if you're in full wheel, your left hand is gonna move first. You'll turn it clockwise. And then lift the right hand up. I like to sit down 
As I roll over, I'm gonna lift the right leg, three leg down dog. Good, it's runner's lunge, need a nose, step it through. Tent the fingertips, look forward, the chest. Good, this time front, back foot's gonna step in about a half step. You'll straighten the leg. So shorter stance here for pyramid pose. Back heel is firmly on the floor. Yeah, this time we're up, lean, inhale, breath through, rise, keep the legs, just take the arms all the way up to the sky. Good, twist the triangle. Your right hand is gonna come to the hip. On the inhale, breath through, small, through the left arm. Back stays flat, you just hinge the hips. Option one, your left hand is gonna find the shin. Option two, we can start to, start to take the hand forward or down to the ankle, maybe the floor, but notice my back stays flat, so if you're rounding the spine, come up higher. I'd rather have you higher on the leg with a flat back, and then lower on the floor with a rounded spine. Stay here, right hand on hip, or take that right arm to the sky, and twist the triangle. As I do this, I'm pressing my left hand down to try to open or peel open that right shoulder. And gaze eventually goes to the top hand, but I like to look down here. Good. Slowly take both hands to the floor. And then the back knee, drop it down to the floor. So left hip is directly over the left knee. From there, you'll slide the right leg out so right leg is straight. And gate pose. We'll kind of stand on left knee and take the arms up to the sky to inhale breath. And then right hand falls, slide bend towards the right. Now as we do this, left shoulder wants to fall forward, don't let it, open it to the sky instead. Yeah, just trying to inhale breath through rise, arms to the sky. And take the hands to the floor. Your right foot is going to step behind you, and then three leg down dog, your left leg is going to lift to the sky. Good. From there, runners lunge, need another step between the hands. Add the twist, take your left arm up to the sky. So vertical twist, you're stacking the shoulders over the bottom hand. Oh, well, twisted lunge. Now vertical twist, spoiler alert. <laughs> Bring the torso up. So squeeze the thighs, bring the torso over the hips to stay there or exalt the warrior. Left hand to thigh, right arm up to the sky. You're here for five. Good, hold it four. And for three. And two, prayer twist. Right elbow is gonna go towards the left knee. Left palm comes to meet it, press the palms, and twist. Now listen close, add in the challenge for transition. Keep the palms together, just start to shift forward so you become high on the back toes. And try not to use the toes, see if you can just lift that right leg up to the sky. It's a twisted bent like warrior three, we're here for five. Good, keep the bend bottom knee for four, and for three. And two, chair twist, bring the feet together, and sit low. Good, stay here or side pro. We'll plant the hands towards the left side of the mat. The left hip can find the left elbow or not. You'll bend the elbows, lift the feet. You're there for five if you've got it. Good, hold it four. And for three. And two, land the feet. And chair pose, take both arms up to the sky. Good, perch pose, airplane wings just stop. Left leg, stork pose, take left thigh all the way up. Good, from here it's dancer pose. Left leg travels back. Grab the big toe side of the foot, and then the knees touch. Stay here or start to kick. Allow the left foot to rise behind you. Do not look down. We're here for five. Good, hold it four. And three. And two, do not slingshot slowly. It's warrior three. Just send that left leg back. Fight for it. And then revolved half moon, I drop the left hand, lift the right arm, fight for it. You can hover, five, four, three, and two, twisted lunge, I'll land the back toes, land left hand. So torso stays about in the same shape from here at side plank. My right foot's gonna step back to meet the left, any type of side plank. I can drop the left knee, lift the right leg, anything you need for five. Good, hold it, four, and for three. And two, right forearm drops, you switch it over if that's too much, do another on the hand, but face your left wall for five. Good, hold it four. And for three, and two, both forearms down, plank. 10, for nine, for eight, seven, and six, 
five, four, three, and two, walk it in. Dolphin pose or down dog, your break is in 10. In nine, in eight, in seven, in six, five, four, three, and two. And drop the knees. Have a seat. You're gonna do some arm circles, sway around, grab some water if you need it. We have that second side in five. In four. In three. In two. And down dog. Last time, feet about hip-width distance. Walk the hands back to the feet, fold. Good, inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins, flat and spine. Exhale, fold. And chair pose, bend the knees, sit the hips, arms go to the sky or go forward if you'd like. Good, chair squat, arms go forward, sit as low as you can. And then your left hand's gonna plant behind you and kick the left foot forward, touch the toes. Stay here or try to bring that knee towards the chest, eventually even in both hands. Whatever option you're in, pulse. Good, left hand plants, left foot plants, and chair squat. Good, right hand plants, right foot kicks forward, the foot can always land, or knee to chest, both hands, pulse. Right hand plants, right foot plants, arms forward. This one's the kicker, left hand plants, left foot kicks forward, and keep the left leg strong, pulse with the hand and the foot. When you are ready, go for strength. It is stork pose. Go now. Oh, didn't make that one. Good, here for five. Good, hold it four. And three, and two, crescent lunge, step it forward. Good, fix the stance, adjust as needed. And the inhale, breath, reach high. Airplane wings to bow one time. Good, stork pose, big jump, right leg all the way up. And then one shrimp squat, just go low, stay low, hold at the bottom, five, four, three, and two, plant hands, step back. Three leg down dog, left leg to the sky. Good, grasshopper kick, it's left knee, left elbow, foot towards the right. Good, we'll do this a couple times, we kick right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Half pigeon. So right leg is forward. Again, a more elevated pigeon, keeping the strength in the legs. Start with tenting fingertips. Stay there, or maybe airplane. Good, when you're ready, airplane wings, bring the torso down, hover five, four, three, and two, bring it up, maybe arms to the sky, back bend if you choose, five, four, and three, and two, reset. Good, shift onto the right leg, Swing the left leg forward, left shin in front of the right, or left ankle in front of the right. Good, it's warrior three, arms go forward, I lift onto the right shin, into the left foot. We're here for five. Good, hold it four, three, and two, stork pose, right leg lifts. Get into funky chair, flex ankle over knee, bend the knee to sit low, stay here or flying pigeon. Again, we plant the hands towards the floor, Bend the elbows and press the shin to the triceps. Now shift forward to this elbow stack over the wrist. Fingers press down. That is where we lift that bottom foot for five. Good. Hold it four. And for three. And two. Drop the foot. Stork pose. Bring it up. Good. Now this one's challenging. Option one, the hands will be next to the hips for support. Use that to catch. Option two, the challenge. Arms go forward. When you're ready, we straighten that right leg forward, and then pistol squat. Bend the left knee, bring the left thigh towards your chest, go low. Once you're over it, you sit. Left leg goes underneath the right, it's half pigeon, right leg goes all the way back, and tuck the toes, readjust. Good, plant hands, three leg down dog, left leg up to the sky. Bend the knee, open hips, stay, or that wild thing. Maybe full wheel. Again, we'll plant both feet. Charge the heels. Lift the hips up, 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 up. Fingers towards the floor. If you're nowhere close, you stay. 
if the fingers find the floor, we lift the right hand, readjust it, hold your wheel. Now, if you have the wheel, your right hand will move first. You'll pick it up, pull and turn it counterclockwise, I believe. Lift the left hand up. I like to sit low as I turn it over. Left leg goes up. Good. Once you've got it, runner's lunge. Step between the hands. And then your right foot's going to take a half step in. You'll straighten both legs. Good. So shorter stance than normal. Feel the right hip push forward. Left hip back. Get a strong leg, strong inhale, rise, arms all the way up to the sky. And twist the triangle, left hand finds left hip. On the inhale breath, reach longer to the sky. Hand to the hips, hold. And again, right hand starts on the shin. Maybe deeper goes down to the ankle, maybe the floor, but again, do not round the spine to go lower. Stay here, left hand on the hip, or add your twist, take the left arm to the sky. And again, I'm pressing my right hand down, so open, left shoulder. And gaze maybe to the left hand, or to the right, or literally anywhere. Good, hands to the floor, and bend the back knee, drop it down to the floor. Your left leg is going to kick out to the right, and gate pose, you come to stand, arms to the sky. And then left hand falls, side bend to the left. And we are almost there, it's the final push. Good. Strong inhale, rise, arms high. And plant the hands forward. Step your left foot back. It's three leg down dog. Take the right leg up to the sky. Big stretch. And then a runner's lunge. Knee to nose. Step it through. Good. Add the twist. Take the right arm up to the sky. And vertical twist. Squeeze the feet together. And belly strong. Bring the torso over the hips. Maybe gaze right hand. To stay or exalt the warrior, right hand five, left arm high, hold it five. Good, hold it four. And three. And two, prayer twist, your left elbow goes towards that right thigh. Right hand joins the left, you press the palms, and then lift the thumbs toward, lift the chest towards the thumbs. And chair twist. Good, now from here can you add the challenge to shift forward high onto the back toes. Try not to use them as you lift that left leg as high as you can. Hold it by. Good. Keep the bent bottom knee four. Three. And two. Chair twist. Land the feet to touch. Hips move back. Use it low. Stay here or side curl. We can lift the heels up to plant my hands towards the right side of the mat. Right knee should be on the left elbow already. My right hip can find the right elbow or use without. I shift the body weight over the elbows and try to lift the T5. Good, I hope you enjoy the view of my butt for four. <laughs> for three. And two, chair pose. Line up feet, lift the arms up to the sky. Good, it's perch pose, airplane just bow. Right leg, snore pose, take the right thigh all the way up. Good, dancer pose, right leg travels back. The big toe side of the foot you grab. Once you've got it, knees touch, stay there, or kick strong. The foot rises, but the gaze stays forward. Do not look at the floor. Hold it five. Good, keep it four. And breathe three. And two, don't slingshot, warrior three, send the leg back, and body parallel. If you fall, you come right back. Good, you're almost there, revolve half moon, right hand lowers, left arm lifts, five, four, five. Four, three, and two, twisted lunge, bend the knee, plant the hand, left arm stays up. We take it home. Side plank, step it back, face your left wall, any side plank you need this to be, for five. Good, hold it, four, and three, and two, left forearm down, second side plank, you just switch if it's too much on the hand, five. And then hold it four, and three, and two, both forms down your plank. Ten, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, And two, lock it in, last 10 seconds, headstand, hall form stand, hub dolphin, <laughs> down dog, anything, and bird stand. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, And two, you're done. Drop the knees, have a seat, and grab some water. Well deserved. Cool, so if you are with me on the Spotify, we will skip the rest of this song. It's a little bit longer than I want it to be. Um, so we'll skip it in three, two, one. Half pigeon. An actual half pigeon this time, so my right knee's gonna go towards the right wrist, left ankle, yep, and right ankle towards the left. So similar to that grasshopper kick we did, uh, but staying here on the hands, or this time going deeper forms, maybe down to the floor. You know, a lot of half pigeons, but the first time we actually get to stay here. And the option to find that variation, if you'd like. Twist back then, I'm gonna stay, but you're more than welcome if you'd like to. Yeah, so come back to the hands from here. Listen close, your right leg should be forward. If it's not, don't worry, you can still do this. Uh, but we'll tuck the back toe, lift the knee, slide my right leg out to the left, and then I'm just gonna sit with wide legs. Um, so wide legs, um, as far as you can, so this not, might not be wide enough. Um, if you need to widen hands behind the hips, use that to kind of slide the hips forward. Now option one will stay right here, hands behind the hips, lifting the heart. Option two, the hands can go forward. As you start to crawl it forward, I like to drop to my forearms. Um, you might go all the way to the belly. Now, as you do here, we, or as you stay here, <laughs> you don't want to stretch the tendons, um, which in my opinion feels like a little line on the inside of my knees. Um, so if you do feel like that, um, try to play with the rotation of the feet, turn them in or outwards, or maybe even bend the knees just to keep the stretch in towards the thighs, less of the knee joint. And as you hold here, if you do hear snoring, that's just uh, my dog that's on the couch. I, I have to tell you that he's flipped completely onto his back, belly just up in the sky, and just snoring away. So if you hear those sound effects, you're welcome. I would give you the visual, but you're all the way over there, and it's really far for me to reach for the camera, so sorry about it. Yeah, from here, you're going to walk the hands back up, come to sit, bring the right leg in about a half distance or so. So not all the way towards the back, not all the way out. Um, shift forward and just bend this left knee. So shift is about parallel, we're taking it to half pigeon. So we'll shift on the left, swing this right leg back, readjust into half pigeon. If you'd like to go to down dog and enter that way by all means. Um, but again, this one we're going to stay. So once you're all settled with the hands, legs, look past the right shoulder, make sure right leg is going straight behind you, and then down the hands, forearms are all the way down to the floor.
and find the variation if you need one. Yeah, then same transition here, you'll come back to hands, and tuck the back toe, lift the knee, and then just slide the left leg out to the right, sit with wide legs. You wide the legs out a little bit longer if you need to, same options, hands behind the hips, use them to lift high, or take the hands forward, slowly start to crawl it forward. Now we'll go forward just for a moment from here, I want you to take it over to the right. So either hinge towards the right leg or reach for it. I like to take my left hand to the pinky toe side edge of the foot, and find a little bit of a side back stretch on my left side. Yeah, and then from the right, we'll take it center all the way over to the left. The same options, any variation you took. Walk it center, and walk it up. Hands come outside knees, bend the knees, swing left leg forward. From there you'll scoot forward, feet to the floor, arms reach forward, and then slowly just roll down to line your back. Yeah, once in the back, bring the knees into the chest, wrap your arms around the knees, gentle squeeze, maybe a light sway. And when you're moving pose, interlace the hands around the right knee. Hug it out to the shoulder, in towards the left ribs or the side body. Nothing on the left side. Ignore that. Um, left leg will go straighten, or left leg will straighten. And again, bringing the thigh in towards the meat rib cage. I'm just going to stop talking. You just hold this knee in. Good. Two fine twists. Right arm extends. Use left hand. Guide the knee over to the left. You guys can go right, it doesn't have to. back center. And both knees come to chest, gentle squeeze or line the spine. And then we keep the left leg, center right leg forward, second side. Hugging out to the shoulder and towards the ribs and try to find contact between the thigh and the ribs. And spread twist, left arm extends, use the right hand, guide the knee to the right. Slowly bring back center. Both knees to chest, wrap the arms around. And of course, happy baby. Reach in between the knees, grab the ankles, big toes, side the feet. And feet over the knees, knees to the floor next to the rib cage. And so if you like, stay as you are. If you'd like to straighten the legs, find another shuttle stretch you can. And if you'd like to go to plow pose, shoulder stand, another great choice. And plow pose. Shoulders to hand, back bend, really anything that you need to finish your practice. If you're already good to go, then just bring the soles feet together, lower them to the floor, form a diamond shape of the legs. From there, right hand on the belly, left on the heart. And close the eyes, move the shoulders away from the ears, so I like to lift the shoulders up, move them down, and then place them back down. After that, I'll lift the head up, set it back down just to reset. Now as you hold here, allow the uh, body to melt into the floor. Notice if you're holding tension in any part of the body, if so, can you send the breath into that body part? So imagine 
the lungs are in the hips, shoulder, ribs, really anywhere that tension is. And see if every exhale breath, you can try to release that tension. And you're more than welcome to stay here, feet together. Or as you're ready, you might straighten the legs out on the floor, Bhano Shavasana. And if you've been listening with me on Spotify, this next, or this end of the song is coming soon, so I'll encourage you to try to stay a little bit in towards the next. If you're not with me on Spotify, just stay as long as you can. With that being said, once again, my name is Bobby. With questions, com comments, concerns, just send me a message from the very, very bottom of my heart. Namaste.